I think that the stories that we tell, the heroes that we raise up, define who we become. As a society, we've kind of picked the wrong group of heroes. You know, the only heroes that any of us hear about are like billionaires and sports heroes and movie stars. And yet, the heroes that are fighting for justice are actually the most interesting ones. All through high school, all through college, my whole career actually, I've just been getting involved in these different battles and meeting the most amazing people. There are Aaron Brockovich types all over the place who are actually winning fights to save the world right now. But none of us are hearing about them because no one was telling their stories. So I had this, this idea, this dream, that I could start a show that told these stories the way that the people inside of them actually experience them as epic battles for the future of the world, where the stakes are impossibly high and the odds are impossibly long, and yet somehow this like ragtag bunch of misfits gets together and fights and wins. We reached out and found potential guests who were leading the kinds of lives and, and fighting the kinds of fights that just make you want to jump out of your seat and pump your fist in the air. At the end of 2013, we launched. And right from the beginning, the response was electric. When I first pitched this idea to MoveOn.org, it was an experiment. Could we make a show that enough people loved listening to that we could actually build an audience that could sustain it? Well, now we're gonna see whether it worked. We run a shoestring operation. It's three people, not counting my, my three-year-old son, Mac, who occasionally guest stars on episodes. We need to raise $100,000 to cover staff salaries, our rent, make sure we can buy new microphones if we smash our old ones in a fit of excitement. So I am asking you to join Team Good Fight, to be part of this community of people that make this thing exist, to show people that you can aspire to more than being famous or having a lot of money, that you can actually aspire to live in service of something. If we can do this, that is the first step to creating the kind of world where every kid can grow up knowing that you can spend your whole life working to make the world a better place. Uh, hold on. It's time to start the show. Mic check one. Are we going to fit for justice? Yes. Yes, we are. Man, I, I don't exactly. Why, why are you doing jokes? I mean, a jokey. It's so jokey. Al, the whole uh, point of the video is to like have momentum, like energy, get people excited about being part of the show. You know, I'm a U.S. senator now, and um, Al, just just do the thing we talked about. Just you know, point. <sighs> With feeling, please. Okay. This is Ben Wickler asking you to be part of the good fight.